For nearly a year, we've been covering the story of O-Search. It's a team of fishermen and scientists, and they've created a new way to study the behavior of great white sharks using GPS tags. Yesterday afternoon, they caught, tagged, and released a white shark off the coast of Cape Cod, the first tagging of their newest expedition. And this morning, we are joined from Chatham by Chris Fisher. He is O-Search's founder and the expedition leader. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Nora. Tell us about Betsy. Betsy was amazing. You know, yesterday we started the day. It had been 16 days of grinding out through bad weather, and we didn't know what we were going to see. And lo and behold, it seemed like a new wave of fish moved in here to Chatham, and we had three sharks kind of on us all day. And it was a tremendous game of cat and mouse before we were able to uh, kind of entice Betsy into taking a bait. And we had an opportunity for the first time to deliver a shark to our science team here. And we were just thrilled. I mean, tremendous relief on the boat today after grinding for a long, long time. And you know, she was an immature female, which is an enormous deal for the scientists. It gives us a broader group of sharks for them to understand what's going on here. Oh, Chris, what do you mean by immature? How old do you think Betsy is? And what do you hope to learn from her? It's day one. Well, we hope to learn a lot from her. Now we have a blood sample from an immature shark. We can compare that to the three other mature animals we have out of the Atlantic and really start to get some baseline data from her. She might also help us define the range of the nursery. But I got to say, Nora, uh, I was a little disappointed when we were pulling it in. I thought it was a boy shark. <laughs> but uh, when we finally got her up on the deck, it was a, it was a female. And uh, we named her Betsy. Chris, we were out with you for three days. We've, you've seen a lot but not a lot have come on the lift. Why has this been such a challenge? Why are the sharks different, do you think, off Cape Cod versus what you saw in Africa, for example? Yeah, I mean, what we've seen here is something we've never seen anywhere else in the world. Where we normally work, there's a lot of cage diving going on in Africa or Mexico and other places. And those sharks tend to come into the boat. They're very curious. These sharks here seem to be super wild. Uh, they don't want to come into the boats. They're not interested in anything that we put in the water. So we've really been forced to evolve in how to connect with the sharks and interest the sharks. And it's been a two-week journey. But you know Captain Brett McBride, our fishing master. He's one of the most creative men I've ever seen on the water. And we kept evolving and we kept inching forward and learning. And finally, we started to get these sharks really turned on on little bitty seal decoys. They would chase the decoys and chase the decoys. And finally, we got them to chase those and we switched them off to a bait and for the first time ever we got Betsy to bite. That's the first white shark that's actually bit in the Atlantic for us because last year we had to hand hook both of those fish. So an enormous step forward in trying to put together a system to deliver enough animals to the scientists here in the North Atlantic. Wow. Hand hook a shark. Chris Fisher, great to have you on. Congratulations. Good luck with all of your research. Thanks a lot.